everyone. So this video is basically going to be about me transitioning the products that I use that I really love and it's basically going to be a little bit all over the place to be honest. So first off I want to say for all of those who are transitioning or are planning on transitioning or want to transition. Um, it's basically a pretty easy process. Um, for me it was because I was on a relaxer stretch before I decided to actually fully commit to actually transitioning to fully natural. So with me being on a uh, relaxer stretch um, for such a long period of time, I think like six months, maybe a little longer, it was a little bit easier for me to transition. Now, um, those of you, like I said, who are planning on transitioning are already in the stages of transitioning. I want to say to those who are, don't let anyone tell you to cut your relax ends off if you're not ready to cut them off. Now, me personally, I cut mine off because I was ready to cut them off. And um, plus, I was I noticed a little bit of damage in the center of my hair because of me not taking my time detangling my hair. And I was actually ripping my relaxed ends off. And I didn't want to go through, like I said in the video, I didn't want to go through having to transition again to get rid of the damaged hair after my natural hair had grown out. So I decided to go ahead and just cut off my relaxed ends. Now, those who don't want to do the big chop, you don't really have to do the big chop. You just have to take your time and be really, really patient and let your hair grow out. Um, and then cut it when you're ready to cut it. Because I, you would not believe the messages I received from people when I announced that I was going, that I was transitioning. I don't even want to go through it. It was like, it was crazy, really. It really was. So, some people ain't got it all up here, so... Just ignore the haters, ignore the negativity, and do it on your own terms. That's all I'm going to say. Do it on your own terms. Don't let anyone convince you to chop all your hair off and the next day you're in tears because you hate that you cut your hair. So just take your time, do it at your own pace, and be patient. And you will, I promise you, you will reach your goal if you just take your time. Um, the second part of this video, I want to talk about products that I'm using in my hair that I actually really, really love. And some of the products I'm using, I really don't have an opinion on yet because I've used them like once or twice. And I'm not really sure whether or not it's something that I'm going to keep in my regimen. So I really don't know. But the shampoo that I'm using and I'm sticking to, and I've said this once before, but this is just another video uh, for those who didn't see that video. Um, the shampoo that I'm using right now is... Afrogy uh, Curlerific and it's a texture hair wash. It's curly friendly, no sulfates, no frizz for wavy, curly, or coily hair. That's what it says. So, this is what I'm using on my hair. And I've been using this now for about, um, I want to say two, maybe three months. And this is the shampoo that I'm actually sticking to at the moment. And I haven't changed it or anything like that. This is shampoo that I actually, I really love this shampoo so much. So this is the one I'm going to be using on my hair. Now for the, uh, since I'm talking about the Alpha G Curl Riffing line, I go ahead and go through all the products that I have by them. Uh, the texture, was a texture, texture treatment. This, um, honestly, I really don't have an opinion on this at the moment. Um, I can't say that I hate it. I can't say that I love it. I really, I just don't know, really. I don't know. I've been using, I've used it twice, I think. Um, over the period of two months, I've used it twice. And I can't really say I love it or hate it, to be honest. I don't really notice anything different in my hair. I don't, I just don't know. So, I'll have to give you a, 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 another opinion on this later on. But right now, I really don't have one. Um, it smells really good, though. <laughs> but... For as me loving it or hating it, I really don't know. I, I can't tell you. Um, for the conditioner that I'm using right now, I just started using this. I just purchased this from Target. Um, it's by Tresemme. And it says Flawless Curls. That's the time, kind that I got. It's conditioner. I used this only once. Um, I really liked it the first time that I used it. So I'm not really sure if I'm going to stick with this or switch around and play around with conditioners. I really don't know. But this is condition that I'm using right now at the moment. And I'm going to use it all the way up before I, before I decide to try a different conditioner. I'm going to use all this up. Because I don't want to have a cabinet full of products that I'm not using. So I'm, I'm going to use it all the way up and then... Um, I'll maybe stick with that one or try something different. I'm, I'm not really sure yet. 
So those are the hair conditions and, and, and the shampoos that I'm using right now. Now when I'm styling my hair, products that I love is that I probably would not change <laughs> unless I find something better. But right now this is what's working for me. Um, for the last, matter of fact, all the hairstyles that I've done since I've been natural, these are the same products that I've used on my hair and it's not a lot. Um, that's the main thing I wanted to do is have be able to style my hair like I would if I was relaxed, but we're not without ha adding heat or without adding or a relaxer in my hair. And I wanted to use some of the same products that I used for my hair when I was um, relaxed. It's actually working for my hair while I'm natural, which I'm actually I was actually surprised. So the products that I use, which you'll see me use all the time when I'm styling my hair, the first thing is the moisture rich leave in. I love this. So this I will be using in my hair every time. You'll see me putting this in my hair every time I style it. I don't care what kind of style I'm doing. You'll see me using this in my hair because it works wonderful. It's really soft. It smells good and it keeps my hair really, really moisturized. So you'll see me using this in my hair too all the time. Also, what really works in my hair is this Curlerific Curl Definer. I love these, this in my hair as well. This really smooths my hair out, especially when I'm doing a roller set like I did in the back of my hair. Um, I applied this on first now. I would say that this really makes your hair kind of stiff and crunchy if you use it alone. If you use it alone, it will. But if you use the moisture rich leave-in first and then add some of this on top of it, it keeps your hair soft and it defines your curls extremely well. It works so well on my hair. I couldn't believe how define my curls were when I use these two products on my hair. Also when I applied this on my hair I noticed as well that um, when I apply, I, I also I added this in my regimen sometimes I use this for my hair for shine. This is motion shining and shine enhancing pomade. I really love this as well. Now I have took a section of my hair to, and tested it to see how well I could define my curls if I decided to do that but my hair right now is not the length I would want it to be for me to wear my hair in a, a wash and go um, so I don't even know if I'm gonna do a wash and go actually I don't know but these three products here worked really well with defining my curls and that's all I use and I also noticed that I defined my curls once as well with these two products and it worked extremely well as well. I use this and this jam. I applied this on first and applied some jam on it, and that's it. And it defined my curls. And it had this jam always have had a shine in their product. Whatever they put in it, it's shine. It makes your hair shine. So these two products right here define my curls wonderful. So that's what I wanted. Um, less products, but be able to get the style and the look that I want. So those products are the products that I use on my hair all the time. When I do my uh, braids or twists or roller sets or anything that I do, that's what I use on my hair and it works wonderful for me. Um, sometimes you'll see me use the Oregon uh, edge control around the edges depending on what style I'm doing every now and then and sometimes I use the Gorilla Snot on my hair on top of that to hold it down if I'm trying to get my edges extremely slick. Uh, for the oils that I use that I really love right now, um, I use Argan Oil on my hair. This is just a bottle that I poured it into so I can spray it out. Um, so I have to write it on there so I know what it is. And um, also, I like using the coconut oil. This is a little small bottle of coconut oil I picked up from my local beauty supply store. And you can see it's solid now because of the temperature in the house, but if I put it in a warm bowl it'll melt down and I can use it. So those are the products that I've been sticking with and I really love. Like say for this hairstyle that I have in my hair now, the products that I used was basically this and this. These two products and I use a little bit oh sorry wrong thing. I use a little bit of the shining pomade on my hair. When I got able to take my curls down I sprayed a little bit of argan oil in my hair and I took it apart. Um, those are the only products that I'm using. Um, basically, like I said, being natural, it's a lot of different videos out there with people that's using a lot of different products on their hair, which is fine, you know, but those that are newly, come, just, pretty much just coming into being natural, you don't want to go and watch all these videos and then purchase all the products that you see them using. Then you have a cabinet full of products. You don't know what works for your hair. And 
you just have a ton a ton of products in your, in your house looking like the beauty supply store pretty much that you don't really use and you don't really have a full opinion on the products so I would recommend if you're um, newly natural to find like a couple of products find you one shampoo one conditioner and um, moisturizer and oil and those four pro I'll say four products those four products and stick with those for a while before you venture out into testing other products that's just strictly my opinion um I did the same thing when I was so I was so happy that I was transitioning and I went out and purchased all these products and I still have some of those products in my cabinet now that I might eventually try and I'm gonna try and use them up um basically I'm right now I'm just gonna try to use the products that I have use them up and then I might go out and venture and try a different shampoo or a different conditioner. But right now I'm going to stick with the Alpha G line. That's what's working for me. It's perfect for me right now. So that's what I'm going to stick with. So um, I think I covered pretty much everything in this video. I think hopefully I did. If you have any questions or anything like that, let me know. Um, also, I'm going to be, as far as the heat and everything, I know I'm going to ask how much heat do I add to my hair or whatever. Right now, I'm not adding any heat. I did a blowout on my hair, um, a blow dried. I blow dried my hair out uh, the first day that I went, um, the day that I cut my hair and washed it, that I cut my relaxed ends off. I blow dried my hair and I haven't put heat in my hair since then. Right now, um, I've said several times that I'm trying to grow my hair back out to at least about here, back to where it was before I cut it. So right now, I'm trying to stay away from heat and everything like that. Um, although I might go ahead this time when I wash my hair this week, I might go ahead and uh, blow dry my hair, or I probably let it air dry, and then uh, the next day I might flat iron my hair. And I'm only doing that so I can do a slight trim. Now I did mention in um, the video where I cut my hair that I wanted to get my hair even all the way around, but now that I've watched like several videos and those who do washing goes, they recommend me not. Um, trying to get my hair even but keep it layered pretty much so when I do my wash and go it'll look better basically um with it layer with my hair already in layers so when I wet it and whatever and do it it'll look better pretty much instead of just having like one just poofy cut <laughs> when I when I if I decide to wash and go so um I really thank those who helped me I can't remember all the names because I contacted so many people but uh I really appreciate your help so I think I'm going to just try to keep my hair pretty much keep it layered a little bit but it's layered a little too much right now I think but right now I'm just going to leave it in layers I'm just going to do like a slight trim just to my ends um, probably when I wash it this time and then after that I won't be cutting my hair anymore for at least five to six months maybe maybe three to four I don't know depending on when it needs cutting so that is basically it. I think I covered everything in this video. So if you have any questions, like I said, let me know. Leave it in the info box. I try to answer them. I'm newly natural, so um, I don't know everything. I'm just telling you strictly from experience so far. Um, right now, I'm loving my hair a lot. A lot. I love it. So it's really easier, actually, for me to style and everything. Uh, also, also, I forgot to mention the detangling my hair. This works extremely well for detangling my hair. If I have a, a a puff ball or anything like that in my head, and I don't, and I'm not ready to actually wash my hair, uh, those who wear puff balls, you know your hair get really tangled from wearing puff balls on the end. I put this on my hair and rubbed it in a little bit, and I just fingered to tang up my hair, and I got a comb and I just combed it out, and just it was just easy. It just glided right through my hair, no problem at all, no snags, no breakage, no nothing. So it works really well for detangling as well. So that is basically it for everything. Let me know what you think. And I will talk to you later, YouTube. Till then, take care.